What is going on everyone? Today we are jumping into the role of a government within a node and the impact that this can have across the node and across the server as a whole. So let's jump into it. In Ashes of Creation, once a node reaches rank 3 or the village stage, the one week countdown begins. Within this countdown period, players are able to establish citizenship within this newfound village, which if they are coming from a different node, they would have to give up their citizen status at the other node. But once this one week timer is up, the next week begins the election process where citizens of this node will elect their government. During this time frame, election notices are mailed out to accounts of the node citizens and those whom are running for governing positions can put their word in. Which the process of this and the election process as a whole varies depending on the node type and keep in mind though that only citizens of the node can put their name in the hat and only citizens can vote. Divine node governments are chosen from the citizens via service-oriented quests that prove faith and dedication to the node they are running for. Most of these devotion-oriented tasks are on an individual basis and won't require outside support. So even if you aren't a well-known citizen of this node, you could still end up running this government. Economic node governments are chosen from gold meaning those with the most money will be able to buy and sell positions of power. For military nodes, there will be a gladiatorial style arena event where participants will fight to the last man standing for control of this node. The current thought around this is to make it a bit more balanced in terms of combat as a player will be able to build out a champion to fight for them instead of using their regular character. These champions would be equipped with gear and skills through quests along with the gold and material needed to make them stronger. The thought process behind this is due to the fact that PvP isn't going to be perfectly balanced for 1v1 combat, so this helps balance out the playing field so your choice of the 64 class combinations won't impact your chances of leading the node. This gladiatorial event will be instant so players won't be able to jump in and ruin the combat, but players will be able to spectate this instant combat to cheer on the player they're rooting for. But keep in mind this is also subject to change via testing depending on the feedback that Intrepid gets from this, and we got a long way to go before this is finalized. Anyways, scientific nodes will have a more traditional government election process, which will be elected democratically having the players vote for who they wish to select, which in an MMORPG may be more of a popularity contest for control as guild masters or streamers or players who have a large impact on the game may be more likely to be voted for than someone who isn't known that is putting their name in the hat. These election processes will happen once every month so the government can change up over time and this way you don't have the same person running the node forever. Which this in the end could make or break the node because you could have one person who really takes care of the node and one person who just wants to raise the taxes and make as much money as they can, making citizens leave to go find another node. This could also change the impact if a war is declared, whether you're prepared or not or your node has the resources. So all of that falls into governing a node and again it could make or break how the node plays out. Once you are selected for the government you will head over to City Hall which is a node building for the acting government. This will be the place where governing officials will actually come together to discuss the future of the node and the direction you may want to take it. This is also where you'll find the status of the node such as the economy, elections, trade agreements, caravans and more. Mayors of the node are the leaders of the government though who from what I understand, get the final say and actually control over most of the development. Although other governing officials will still be able to put their input in. They will be able to do many things that again could make or break the node and cause citizens to love or hate them, such as allocating resources, taxes, and quests to help further develop the node, along with communicating and coordinating the supply needs of the node and what is needed to build what they are trying to build and motivate the citizens to help collect these resources. As the more advanced the buildings are, the more supplies you may need, and you'll really need the support of your citizens to go out and collect these resources for the node to actually accomplish building these things. As the node advances, the mayor will also gain more powers and responsibilities, including special abilities and 
stats for sieges and events. They will also have the ability to deploy mayoral caravans, which will establish trade routes with other nodes, and they will also be able to obtain specific resources through caravan quests. Along with this, government officials will also have much more powers at their disposal as well, with the ability to do things such as marking foreign citizens of other nodes, enemies of that node, declaring war on nodes, creating building projects which control which buildings are created in that node, controlling taxes, hiring mercenary NPCs to defend the node during sieges, initiating quest-driven system that all players and not just citizens will be able to participate in, allowing them to also give out items from the node's treasury as rewards for these quests, and they can select the name of the node through a predetermined list. That way you don't get nodes with inappropriate names throughout the server. What are your thoughts on node governments in Ashes of Creation? Will you be putting your name out there to try and lead one of these cities? Let me know in the comments down below and if you have yet to create an Ashes account yet, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.